Hello children, welcome to Ella Kids. Today we are learning science year 4 in a very amazing topic on states of matter. I am your teacher, Koriri. Did you know that the entire universe is made up of matter? Yes, the entire universe is made up of matter. The air around us, the stars, the planets, the oceans and the seas, all of those ones are made up of mat matter. Now, can we describe what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Well, that is the clear definition of matter. And matter has been subcategorized into three states. One, we have solid. Two, we have liquids. And three, we have gases. Yes. Matter has been put into those three categories because of their particle arrangement. But before we move to that particle arrangement, can we look at some of the examples of the matter that I have in my table? Yes. Looking at these particles over here, at these materials I have on my table, I have a cube here. What could you think it is? Solid? Liquid? Gas? No, we'll get to that. This is water in a glass. What do you think it is? Solid, liquid, gas? We will get more into that. Now, matter has been subcategorized into solid, liquid, and gas because of the particle arrangement. It's all because of each and every small particles that have been arranged in each and every single of them. For a solid, the particles are tightly packed against each other so that it cannot be compressed any further and it has a definite shape. Yes, and for a liquid, the particles are further spaced apart. And that's why we can say that a liquid flows. Let's look at this water. This water in a glass, as I said before. Yes, let's try to see if it can flow. Yes, it flows. I also have a hand sanitizer. Does it flow? Is it a, low, a solid? Is it a liquid? Let's see. Yes, it flows. And very important to note, at this time when the coronavirus is really hitting the nations, it's good every time to do what? To sanitize. Yes, we look at the gas. For a gas, the particles are further apart from each other. That is why in a gas, you can easily compress and it can expand to fill the entire room. And also, for a gas, you can compress it. I have my balloon, which is filled up with air inside it. I can compress. Yes, meaning that gas is inside the balloon. We have said that it is all about the particle arrangement. I have my particles over here that can help us to clearly describe between a solid, a liquid, and a gas. Look at these particles I have here. The particles inside here are tightly packed against each other. Therefore, this one represents a solid. Then, for a liquid, the particles are few and they are further placed from each other. Yes, that is why we say that for a liquid, it can easily flow. Then, what about a gas? A gas, we say that the particles are further placed from each other. Therefore, for a gas, we can easily compress. Great! Now you've learned about the particle arrangement in the solids, liquids, and gases. I want us now to subcategorize the materials I have on my table here into solid, liquid, and gas. Follow me on this. We say that this is a gas. We will put there for the gases. For the liquids, we'll put here. And for the solids, we place it here. We say that a solid, the particles are tightly packed. So let's start with this cube. Mm, tightly packed. We cannot compress it further. Yes. We love soccer. Yes. Can we try to compress? No, it cannot be compressed more further than that. Yes, that one is a solid. This 
Can we compress? Mm, no. This is a solid. A piece of stone. Mm, no, 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 no. We cannot compress it further. Therefore, it's a solid. Then my water. And I feel like I'm thirsty. Can I take some? I feel refreshed. Yes, this is a liquid because it can flow. Place it there. The same, same sanitizer. Yeah, it's a liquid. Place it there. Ah, I nearly forgot. I have my biscuits here. We like all of our snacks. Yes. Where can we place? It is a solid. Yeah, so we place on the compartment of the solids. We nearly forgot that. What about my balloon? Inside is air. Can you try? Take care, it may burst. So it's a gas inside it. Now children, back at your home, just pick all the materials you have in your house and categorize them into liquid, solid, and gases and take a picture of the same and post the link to our comment section. But in this lesson today, we have learned about solids, liquids and gases in their particle arrangement. And this is what I have for us, that the particles in a solid are tightly packed against each other. Therefore, the particles are close to each other. For a liquid, the particles are further apart from each other. Therefore, the particles are further apart from each other for a liquid. And finally, for a gas, the particles are far apart from each other. That is why we can easily compress. And did you know that a solid can change into a liquid and also a liquid can change into a, car, a gas? Yes. Follow us in the next lesson to give you more of this. But up to that point in time for today, we have come to the end of our lesson. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification and also spread to other friends that they may learn more of the same on states of matter. Till next time, I've been your teacher Corinne. Bye bye.